Prepare to be astonished! This is the Watch Quick and Warfare, and today we're going to talk about the Vauban Prime. But before we can do that, here are the locations for all his blueprint parts and the blueprint itself. And well, it took me such a long time to farm him, so my suggestion is just buy it on the mark. And now for the build with a lot of duration, efficiency, and of course, strength, and almost 100% power range. And as you can see, we also have Vitality equipped because, well, um, Vauban doesn't have a lot of health, but now he does. Vauban can get more armor if his uh, friends are surrounding him. Because that is a passive ability of Vauban Prime. So, now that we know the build, let's go for the abilities. And the first one is the Tesla. And, well, what does this do? You can put these balls on a surface or on your enemies itself and they will deal electricity damage. Putting one of these balls on your enemies means that you will do more damage against that enemy. With this build you have about 20 charges with one grenade. And the charges are fired every 3 seconds. Arc damage and contact damage are affected by power strength. There is also an augment for the Tesla and that is the Tesla link. And as you can see, the Tesla grenades will link together, uh, which means they will do more damage and do slash damage every time an enemy gets in contact with it. So, bam, look at that. All those bastards just walking through it. The second ability is called Mine Layer. And this is a beautiful one because with Mine Layer you have choices out of four different grenades and the first one is bounce and look at that you bounce yourself or your enemies uh, up in the air and while doing that you deal magnetic damage look at that Whee! and then bam home run well not quite but he's still dead look you can you can bounce yourself and the second grenade is called trip laser and what this does is it can trip your enemies knocking them down or stunning them look at that he's knocked down <laughs> and then i bounced him up in the air look how amazing that is and you can have a lot of fun with all these grenades man and this is just one example of it i can watch this all flipping day just him bouncing around oh look at that he fell again and now he's dead that's how you do it ladies and gentlemen the third ball is called Shred and this is a good one because this one is just like a grenade. You just throw it at an enemy and they get ragdolled all over the place. Look at that. Multiple enemies and no enemies left. That's how you do it. Oh, there's just one left. And no enemies left. And the last ball is called Concuss and this stuns and deafens your enemy so now you can just shoot all around you and no one will hear you so now we know all the mines or all the grenades we can throw so let's uh, test it out against this poor bass here so trip laser is out come on guy and he's tripped and bounced up in the air and he went to heaven the third ability is called bastille and this will create a containment field that will catch your enemies that will come near that field and they are held suspended in stasis up in the air so now you have enough time to slice and dice all your enemies or shoot them or whatever you like and this ability is especially great when you need to defend something and while Bastille is up, you can always use your Tesla to uh, do some damage against all those bastards contained. So, there is also an augment for the Bastille, and that is called Repelling Bastille. And now you have a 100 chance to repel enemies who enter within the radius of the Bastille. But if you have enough power strength, this is an augment that will never be needed because you have enough power to contain enough enemies and the last ability is called vortex where you create a whirling mass of energy that will attract all the enemies that come near it 
and while they are stuck into the vortex they get magnetic damage ladies and gentlemen but also a little bit of blast damage since the vortex doesn't deal a lot of damage this ability is great to well to hold up your enemies and put them in one spot so you can aim and fire just at that one spot and kill them all. Low level enemies will still be killed by the Vortex, but when you use it in higher level missions, this will just be a blockade for your enemies to go through before they can get to you. You can put as many Vortexes down as you want, the same as with Bastille, but the Vortex will not take priority over the Bastille. Now, the Vortex also has an augment, and it is called Perpetual Vortex. And it is in the name if you just keep on throwing those Vortex Balls at the same spot. The duration of the Vortex will increase more and more. And as you can see, we have a Vortex for about 2 minutes. But if you don't pay attention, your enemies can sneak up on you. Now let's see all those abilities in action ladies and gentlemen and first of all we are on Draco and I just used a shred grenade and now a concussed grenade. I'm gonna use all my abilities another concussed grenade. Guy get dead get deaded bam all right so let's continue and use everything in our arsenal first of all with the Vauban you can have a lot of fun and I will show you that because we have a trip laser, we have shred grenades, we have concussed grenades. We can do so much uh, damage, not with our abilities, but with our abilities, we can, well, we can piss off our enemies and then kill them off with our weapon. So here we are, and let's uh, let's have some fun. First of all, trip laser, and of course. We have our Tesla coil. So now the enemies will get tripped and stunned. And then right after that, they get a nice electrical shock. Oh, ain't that great? So they get woken up right after they get, they get knocked down. So now we're doing a defense mission against infestations. And ladies and gentlemen, this will be great. First of all, bounce grenades and now we have a Paris Prime on our hands now it is time for some skills BAM right in the air just shoot them up in the air that's how I like it it's a nice fun game for Sunday afternoons and now we are in the void doing the exact same thing using our abilities to piss off our enemies and of course have some fun so first of all let's bounce up these bastards up in the air I like it I like it so much and then let's trip them up and while they are tripping we have some Tesla balls to shock them with oh my god look at that look at how that looks so many mines no enemy will come through this this hallway or gateway or whatever nobody will look at them they're stuck and my my teammates behind me are killing them all because they can they cannot get through because of my abilities because of my mind and the only thing I need to do is is have some friends to kill them off oh look at that big bastard there just trip now he's dead and that guy gets a grenade on his hand and now he's dead oh my this is so much fun so now what a lot of shred grenades that's what to ragdoll your enemies all over the place and well when it gets a little bit too much just throw down your vortex and your bastille and look at that no enemy can get you now because they're all stuck they're all stuck that's how you do it well ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed and check me out all my other videos and i hope to see you there hey what's this don't fight guys make love or just die adios So we're doing a sortie mission with high level bastards and as you can see it is still just one shot 
one kill. And that is how I like it. And especially against these high level bastards, one shot, one kill is very handy. And especially because this weapon isn't very accurate. So now for a last build I thought, let's have some fun. And we do that with a blast.